This is really disconcerting. Where are we? Booyah. We are now on this side of the bridge. Oh, yes. Hey folks, and welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight, we're back in the junkyard in Abduction. We've looked around. Uh, the only things left before we hit the switch are these two pieces of paper I wanted to read. Let's take a look at the first. Uh, okay, well, we'll see what's on the other side in a second. The Global Adventurist from 1988. Are you in trouble? Need help? Call 1-555-HELP-YOU, 435-7968. We can help. Kenway, Billum, and Bale Law Offices. Free consultation, auto accidents, slips and falls, and other injuries. Uh, what else is there? Published by Activision, developed by Prologue. The Manhole, a whimsical world where every character comes alive and every new hallway leads to another wild dream. Let the child in your home or the child in your heart become the main character in an imaginative journey. Out now! Uh, you guys can correct me. I think this may, the manhole may have been another cyan uh, title. Hold on, before we put this away, let's just take a photo. And you know why? Because there's that phone out there, and I want to give it a shot on that number. What's this? Okay, we can't flip it. Worksheet, multi-purpose Valane control panel interface. Ah, uh, that's, <laughs> that's what's uh, waiting for us, I suspect. This is the control panel that the Valanes have supplied for our use. Although they are able to control their systems via vocalizations, they have provided these control panels for other species to have limited access and control. If you have trouble, please find Noah for help. Remember, the Valane numbering system is base 4. Drag from one blob to another to form the Valane digits. Drag between blobs to disconnect. The standard panel has five digits, but single digit panels are also used. Use only first digit to simulate a one digit panel 0 to 3. All panels will autocorrect for invalid entries. And I guess this is like a worksheet for you to figure out, you know, if you can read the numbers. Maybe. All right, we'll see. Um, hmm. Base four. All right, well, I'm assuming that's what this is. So let's turn it on. Let's turn all the power on first. Okay. Uh, as we saw, this is flipped for everything. This is the back door, or downtown in the garage. So downtown should actually have power after we do this. Huh. So let's flip the switch. Okay. This should now have power. Go check it out. Okay, the light is on. Whoa, 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 easy. Ah. Uh, let me just try something here. No? Enter. Ah, okay, it backfills numbers. Um, clear. That's just for that, I guess. What does this button do? Aha! So that's the translation button. Whoops. Okay, let's go ahead and clear that out. Hmm, okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, well, the light is on. That means we can do this. Perfect. Now, we'll come back to the Valane number in a second. The, the, the Valane number generator, because... I mean, it's there, but I have no earthly idea <laughs> why it's there and what we do with it, other than, you know, learn the numbers, I guess. But I wanted to check out the phone, because I know this exists, and we got a phone number. Why not, even though... Really, there's no receiver or any other interactable. Okay, I'm just going to pop the menu for a second. One second. Uh, photos. Mm. Here we go. 4357968. Let's get the old handy-dandy piece of paper out because I, I don't want you guys to, you know, constantly see me flipping back and forth. 1555-4357968. Okay, close, here we go, uh, one, five, 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 four, three, five, seven, nine, six, eight. 
Nothing? Nothing. Okay. One more thing to try. What if we don't have to enter uh, the area code for whatever reason? So let's just go with four, three, five, seven, nine, six, eight. Bubkus. Bubkus. Okay. Um, operator? Nothing? Okay. Hmm. Or three. Yeah, no, that's right. Never mind. Hmm. Okay. But, as I was looking through the photos, it's not a total wash. As I was looking through the photos, I was reminded of something. This is remarkably similar to something we saw in Farley's house. This. Ugh, that photo's not coming up. What about this photo? No, of course, because there's a bug in the photos. Well, the Farley photo comes up perfectly. Yeah, this thing. Just imagine there are dots, right? No, no. Yeah, they're supposedly patching this. I apologize. Uh, so, yeah, this photo down here, this, is, this looks like the display that we're looking at right here with the two dots on the sides, and there's just an upside down, like a curvy 15. Yep, exactly, right, two dots on each corner. Let's just go ahead and draw that 15 and see what we got. Uh, 406. I have no idea what that's, what, that use, uh, what that's used for, but let's just go ahead and write that down, just in case. And, uh... Hmm. So our task is to get out of the membrane, right? And we also powered up downtown, so we can go check out what's up, what's what's happening downtown. Uh, and also, here's what I want to do. Sorry, I'm going to pop the photos one last time because maybe, 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 maybe we actually get the photo we want. There it is. Okay. So it's kind of not the greatest photo, but that's fine. Here, there's others. Okay, so we were here. This is these are the two exits and entries that we used to get here, right? The scrapyard. And there was this membrane and this membrane, and there's a couple more here. There are a couple here. Cemetery leads here. Don't, and this one we haven't checked out. So the reason I want to do this is, and and I think for next time, what I'm going to do is once I've once I've done some exploring in this episode. Uh, I am going to go and mark up a map and just use that. Essentially, I would like to know which which membranes or which pieces of the portal or however you want to describe it, right, lead where. Because I suspect, first of all, we powered up downtown, so we should go check out downtown, but I suspect that there are now more areas for us to gain access to. For example, I don't know, I'm assuming that you can get through a membrane to go there. I'm assuming there's probably a way to get up there now. But we'll see. The only thing I know for sure is I'm pretty sure there is a membrane here. I call them membranes again because I've uh, I've decided to uh, adopt the whole it's a cell uh, discussion. Okay, well there's rocks here. Whoa, okay. Make sure it's the same thing. Yeah. Huh. This is really disconcerting. Where are we? Booyah! We are now on this side of the bridge. Oh yes! Oh yes! This just gets better and better. Um, yeah, there's a membrane here. Is this membrane always here? Is this just where I came out? Yeah, this is just where I came out. Because of the rock, right. Um, sorry, just bear with me. I want to see where this takes me. Makes me exactly where I just was. Okay. Here we go, because it's one big... Right, because it's one big wall. Aha! Uh -huh. I get it. Alright, so. We can now go down here. And as you know, my philosophy is we will keep looking at everything until... You know, and not push any buttons or whatever. Until we've explored everything. And what's here? 
Oh man. Look at that. That's fantastic. Okay, we'll go there in a second. Let's just check out what's on. I'm assuming that we have to go there because... Ah, jeez. Very blinding, guys. Okay. Right. We need to go down here. We need to turn this. And if we go through there, we may be able to come up over here. Aha! That's what's gonna happen. Okay, so uh, the idea is we're gonna go through there. We're gonna come out at the other end of this little wall, I guess is what it's called. We'll come over here, we'll flip down the stairs, we can go down, we can flip this around so that it's then horizontal. And then all we have to do is find our way back up here. Okay. And, and, since we'll be in downtown, we can go and see, for example, if something happened with the tree. Perfect. Okay, that's what we're going to do. That's going to be our episode. Our episode is going to be checking on all the stuff that the power generator has made for us. Or has made available for us. What the what? 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 Oh, you know what I think this is? I'm not going to run anymore. I'm just, I'm just running around. You know what I think this is? Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, I know what this is. This is the seed thing. This is the seed machine or whatever it's called. It's like the, the pairing machine. I, saw, I remember it from the diagrams in CW's workshop. Okay, we are not messing with that right now. <laughs> because there's glowing and humming and all sorts of things that I don't even want to talk about or think about right now. This thing that's humming again. Huh. Okay. Can I come up here or something? No. Weird. It's like an upper vantage point, but there's nothing here for now. For now, there could be something, eventually. The other thing I thought of, um, and I guess maybe we'll get to it next episode, or maybe it won't become necessary until later, later, later. Uh, when we were in the junkyard, there is a looping track for the minecarts. Now, Obviously, that suggests that the minecart is going to have to go there. This is... You know, I kind of get what's ha I sort of get what's happening right now. So these seeds teleport... They, we, we read about this, right? They teleport like a sphere into a particular place. And if this is... Tele this is like a, a, a piece of a different world, I guess? Maybe it's ours, but I think that's a different world. It's just like a sphere of it that... You know, there was stones here, and there were plants, and the machine is the thing that brings it here. Yeah. My 100% uninformed guess. Uh, but in any case, so we might actually be able to see it from here, depending on how far the path goes. Sorry, I just want to make sure that I'm not missing anything. Okay. Well, this is... This is uh, both promising and horrifying. No. Uh, hello? No. Okay. No buttons here. Let's just see. How many, how many, what do I need? One, two, three. Well, we did just get a three-digit code, right? Whoops, sorry. Uh, so let's do four, zero, six. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Vote for Joseph. Is this the mayor's campaign headquarters? What the what? Joseph for mayor. Uh, maybe we won't even check out this whole thing, gang. Okay, well, I'm not looking at that yet. That's... Vote for Joseph... Where is this going to put us? Oh, you know what this is. Yeah. 
This is the door to the tree. So clearly this is not opened on its own. Okay. And yet, and yet, there's a button here. And a horrible, this is the tower, I guess. Man, who knew, right? Look at this. There's a whole new area here. Okay, 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 let's not get, this is a backer item? Yeah. You kind of tell, like, the more decorative pieces are backer items, but that's okay. That's cool, they add a little flavor. Okay, before we start reading anything, we're not looking at that board. I, I just know it's a list of mares. I saw the top the top label. The papers that we're gonna look at. Um, out of curiosity, I'm sure this leads to a membrane. Ah, this is the other door we couldn't open. This is the one right next to the other sphere. I'm assuming this thing also got brought here from another different world. Okay, because they're so not Kansas. The mayor's desk. I love it. Mayor. Um, okay. Yeah, that's not a sinister music at all. Thanks. Uh, okay. We're not gonna look at that yet. Oh, it's a backer item. Cool. Are these all backer items? Backer item, backer item, backer item, backer item. Any books here that I should be... The WOW Award for Community Excellence. I like that. Hmm. What's this? Another backer item. Anything I can do with here? Here? No? No? Nothing? Okay, well, so there's an elevator. You know what the interesting thing is? Here's the interesting thing. I don't... Yeah, that is super sinister music. Uh... Can we not have that super sinister music, please? Okay, enough. Interesting. Okay, so let's just start here. Luther Roscoe, Carl Hunrath. Okay, you notice this? B-H-A-H. -H. We thought about Hunrath, right? Being before and after Hunrath. Guess it's Carl Hunrath. He's the H. And we'll get to the whole, how did he rule for, is this 10,000 years? Is it days or years? I don't even know. Okay, so Luther Roscoe showed up here for whatever. Let's assume these are days, because otherwise my mind just exploded how all of these guys are here for, and look, John Farley. I don't know what his relationship with Caroline is, okay. So John Farley, Benjamin Sims. Carolyn Farley, Joseph Peter Jensen. Okay, fine. But like, Farley was mayor for 30. Sims was mayor... For almost 3,000. So, I, I can't believe that this is years. I have to believe that this is days. Or whatever counts for a day here, I guess. But even so, I mean... Holy moly. You know what I'm saying? Carl Hunrath's term here is incredibly long. Okay, well, I'm sure we'll find out something. Like, he wasn't a human. I'm going to go ahead and guess that one. But, you know, who knows? All right, let's read. Mr. Mayor, at your behest, here is the information pertaining to the bleeder, its history, and some of the engineering behind it. Oh, that thing out, out back that we couldn't figure out, the, the thing surrounded by water. The bleeder project was designed and built at the request of Mayor Sims, to collect and dissipate the ever-increasing power in the entire ecosystem. Mayor Sims was reluctant to allow the system to come to fruition as he, and others, had become suspicious of Mayor Farley's death. He believed that without knowing more precisely what would happen to the cell wall at fruition, it was ill-advised to allow it to possibly open, thus allowing what might be outside in, and what might be inside out. Uh, the system has the capacity to throttle all four connected worlds. Okay. Uh, yeah, there was the billboard in the community center that was talking about the fact that there were like four worlds or something. There were four circles with different colors. The idea, as you are well aware, is to suppress the ecosystem power and thus inhibit full maturity of the trees. It was postulated and since became apparent that this suppression, suppression will keep whatever unknown maturity process from happening and grant us direct control over tree fruition. 
Uh, uh, the rate of dissipation is sensed and regulated automatically. The power is collected through valane engineered extruded cables that attach directly to the dome membrane. When the maximum power level is exceeded, the dissipation phase is triggered, creating an electric charge followed by a discharge into the water. Through the electrolysis, an amount of hydrogen and oxygen is generated. We capture some of these elements for our own use, but the great majority is released into our atmosphere. This gassing might be a cause for concern were it not for the ecosystem's ability to filter and maintain our atmosphere at near ideal levels. Excess H and O content and pressure generated by the process is rebalanced quickly by the membrane. As you know, and as you know, we discourage swimming when the bleeder is operational. Regards, CW. Hmm. Let me just see something, because, yeah, where's the door? The door's here. Can we see the bleeder? I could have sworn. Yeah, there it is. So, yeah. He's not. He's right. Look at these wires. I thought I couldn't understand what was going on at first, but I guess this means that they're going up into the membrane. Interesting. I don't understand half of what I just read, but interesting. All right, what do we got here? Warning: Do not approach any any anything. That, yeah, this is the thing that's that's everywhere. Okay. Yo. Oh. For. <laughs> For. Whoever. May all your doors stay open. That's actually pretty clever. Uh, yeah, that's happening. Iowa 66 DCTD. 48. Okay. Uh, there's a book. Backer item. I like this compass. It looks very... This compass looks very mistish. You know what I mean? Sun, sun. N. S. O. Somebody, uh, somebody can tell me what that um, O and E stands for, if it's not East and whatever O is. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Another compass. Nice. Missouri. Um. Sure. Missouri. Okay, put it back. What does that say? Roscoe. Roscoe was the first mayor. Okay. Sims, that's the one. Sims, the one right before Far, between the two Farleys. E was the one that was uh, that had had built the bleeder, I guess. Right. That's according to what. Um, before I read the book, I just want to see if I can open drawers or something. No. All right. Let's see, read the book. He, uh, Sims, was the one that built the bleeder. Uh, okay, so this is this is the mayor's like diary. Here we go. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna read this, and that'll probably be it. So, one seven one two five A H special council session two discussed final approval of Farley's plan with regard to the imminent attack. Oh wow, this picks up right away, huh? Imminent attack. The full council vote was unanimous, and I gave my final approval. Preparations. Preparations update. Farley says that tunneling is almost complete. Bam informs us that the Villains just completed their construction and have started testing. Okay. Tunnel. Okay, I don't know. Uh, next AH. Special. Yeah, this can't be the years. This must be days. Right? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense otherwise. So, special council session 12. No one attended. I will inquire as to reason for their absence. Next. It appears that the council members feel like we're having too many meetings. <laughs> Since the plan has been approved, perhaps we can reduce our meetings to every two days. Yeah, it's days. Perfect. For now, while I was asking Cecil about his absence, I also inquired about securing the tower area. Next day. Special Council Session 13. Cecil will provide a new key code for the, lo for the lower lock in the next few days. Cecil was concerned about any survivors not having access, so it was decided that we would conceal the code in Farley's house and give the residents the location as they were being chambered. I also had him change the upper tower access code. The clue to the code has been replaced, has been placed under the direction of our first mayor. Ah, I think I know what, what that is. That's the Roscoe compass. Under the direction compass of the first mayor. Ros okay, fine. Missouri. 
That's our clue. Great. Uh, next day. I have decided to bring some of the more important mayor's logs with me for chambering. Specifically, the initial Hunrath log and then the logs that document the history of our conflict with the Mofang. I would think we would have an extra chamber available for historic documents. Okay. Um, I, want to make, I just want to go back here because I, I, something was digging at me. I said, I said, I, mm -hmm. Conceal the code in Farley's house and give the residents a location as they were given as they were being chambered. Chambered? He's talking about this too. Weird. The upper tower access code. So the upper tower access code is what's under the mayor. And I think what he's talking about the Farley's house is what we just figured out with the Villain numbers, the 406. Okay, next day. Special counsel session 14. Only Tham attended. He informed me that because of the dire circumstances, the others were either extremely busy or not inclined to have long discussions about the situation. I told him I would suspend the regular special counsel sessions and we would simply meet as the need arose. Next day. I paid a visit to Farley today. I asked her to check on the availability of a chamber for the documents. Hmm. Four days later. I've spent the last few days collecting documents. I've decided that I've divided them into two categories, chambered and vaulted. The vaulted are less important, but obviously worth making an effort to save. They can be moved into Farley's vault area. The vaulted category will also include any books that were managed to collect through the years. Two days later. With less than a week remaining before chambering begins, the population is tense. We've had several town hall meetings to try to answer any questions, but the real Yeah. But the re sorry, but the reality if, but the realities of the current situation make it difficult to assuage fears next day. Farley has informed me that there is one final confirmation from Shavar. If Farley doesn't hear from her by the end of... From th in three days, then there's no turning back. There is an odd justice to Farley's plan, in that whatever the Mofang bastards send to kill us will return... will be returned back to them. Okay. The day before. Special Council 15. A special meeting was called to go over the plans for the final time. Farley had several instruction sheets to distribute, the Mofang weapon illustration, a list of all souls that will be used as a basis for the chambering manifest, and a thorough summary of the battle plans. These will be distributed as necessary, no word from Shavar. Alright, the day of. Farley tells me that there will be at least one chamber available for historic documents. Any other extra chambers will be loaded with emergency provisions and medications in case either Honrath or Murray are completely destroyed. No word from Shavar. Murray. Is that the Villain? Maybe that's the Villain? Maybe that's the Villain homework? I don't know. Uh, okay. So, the next day. No word from Shavar. Death is on our doorstep. Curse the Mofang devils to hell. Day after. I'm leaving to, the cha to be chambered. This journal will remain here to inform any future souls of what our last days were like. Snap, son. That's, uh... That's dark. I mean, I always knew it was going to be dark. I mean, come on. They're fighting, but... Okay. Iowa. Is that Missouri? Alright, so we have a clue in Missouri. We have a couple of places to go. We can take this elevator. I'm assuming this elevator goes up and down. And it probably just goes up now that I look at it. Uh, why don't we do that? Let's just hit up. Yeah? we do this from here? Oh, wow. Wait a minute. There's a whole, like, thing down there. I want to go down there. Go down. There's no power. What about go up? No power. Okay. Hmm. Alright. So, I'm going to try and figure that out next time, I think, because we really do need to... Is this the same thing? Yeah, it's the same thing. We really do need to, I think, go up, and I want to find out what's down there. And then we should check out what's happening downtown now that we've restored power. Okay, so that's the plan for next time, is basically to try and figure out where we activate this. Uh, my suspicion is when we flip the switch, maybe it shut down a couple of the other pieces. And what we should do is turn off power to the garage, it'll restore power here, we'll go up, we'll check out what's going on. We'll come back, we'll turn power back onto the garage so we can go check out downtown. That's the thought, but we'll see where that come, where that all goes. Uh, in any case, if you enjoyed this episode, you know, please like, comment, subscribe. It lets me know that I'm doing something right. Uh, if you think I overlooked something, if you have 
uh, constructive criticism or anything else to say, just, you know, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, I will see you all next time. Better than